Hey y'all, it's Hans. Welcome back. We've got another review for you this week. The Infrared Outdoor Rico Hybrid 75. This scope has generated so much buzz coming out of SHOT Show 2024. A lot of people pre-ordered for it. A lot of people have asked, you know, want to know if this scope is the right one for them. And that's a good question. Something we're going to be talking about later on in the show. Now, if you want to purchase a brand new night vision or thermal optic, and you have questions, and you should have questions, give us a call, 877-350-1818, outdoorlegacygear.com. At night, y'all, I'm out testing this stuff during the day. I am taking your phone calls and your questions because a lot of people, rightfully so, want to ask somebody if this is the right scope for them before they drop $8,000. Yes, this is an $8,000 scope, but we're going to talk about all it can do because, again, one of the most talked about scopes coming out of SHOT Show 2024. One of the most popular pre-ordered scopes of this year so far. We've had a lot of time, time behind it. We've had a lot of chance to see it, see what it can do. I even hunted with it in a 24-hour tournament that we did uh, in the beginning of February. So if you're seeing this review right now, it is at the end of February. Had a lot of time behind this scope. If you see something and you have questions, comment in the video. We're going to be running through the specs, walk around and tell you what comes with the scope, who it's good for, likes and dislikes. We've got a lot to get through and a lot of video. But first, we're going to talk about, and a lot of people ask, is this, is the Hybrid 75 the best long range shooting thermal on the market right now? I am going to answer that question not too long from now. Let's talk about the specs. This is formally named and formally known as the Infrared Outdoor Rico Hybrid 75. Yes, there is a Hybrid 50. This is, I don't want it, this isn't a version two. This isn't Gen 2. This is just the Hybrid 75, which means, yes, it is a clip-on. But for the sake of this conversation and for the sake of this re review, do not use this if you're trying to use it as a clip-on. It's not, that's not what it's famous for. That's not what it's great at. It's very, you know, it's a large scope. It is not a small scope. It's got a 75 millimeter objective lens. You don't want to put this in front of a daytime optic. This is a fantastic scope alone. You don't have to mess with trying to put, you know, a daytime scope in front of it and running it as a clip-on. Use it the way you see it right here, and that's it as a dedicated thermal scope, and you will be much happier. So getting right into it, price on it is $7,999. Yes, again, I will say it does function as a clip-on. Um, 640 by 512 thermal resolutions, 12 micron, 50 hertz refresh rate. Uh, it does have a sub-25 uh, millikelvin NETD thermal sensor rating as I showed you, a 75 millimeter objective lens, starts at four power base magnification. Again, that's a, that's, that is a very high starting base magnification, true 4X. Now, because it's got such high base magnification, that means it's gonna have a narrow field of view, and this is for a specific type of hunter. Uh, the field of view is 31 feet at 100 yards. Detection range uh, is set at 3,600, a whopping 3,600 yards. I'd say the ID range conservatively. I mean, on a small animal like a coyote, gosh, y'all, it, it could be on a bad night in bad weather, 500 yards or so on a good night. I'm almost scared to say, but maybe, you know, seven, 800 yards at night on a small animal, a larger animal could be much further. I was looking at deer at 683 yards. They were laying down at 683 yards. I could see them turning their heads, lifting their heads, knew exactly what they were, and that was almost 700 yards. Uh, and that's laying down. Uh, so that, that says a lot for the ID range. It does have um, a very large display screen. It's 2560 by 1920 with, uh, with an AMOLED display. So that's a large, very large display screen. Great. When you look through, it just looks big and beautiful and uh, really like the trend that we're seeing with larger uh, viewfinder and display resolution. Uh, it does have video and auto recording, uh, recoil activated recording, does have standby mode with quick startup time, nine different reticles. It does come with a QD mount, and we'll talk about that in the walk around. It does come with a laser rangefinder. Right now, the end of February, it is not shipping with the unit. Those have not really made it into the United States. And into the United States, those are going to be shipping directly from IRA USA. Uh, maybe in time later on down the road, maybe it'll ship together. But right now, the laser rangefinder is not shipping with the unit. 
Also, it does have onboard ballistics compensator inside the scope. So you put your bullet information so you can, you know, range an object and it will correct your, you know, shot based on the, based on the yardage. Does come with two batteries in the box. So that means you're going to get about six hours of runtime with each battery enough to run you pretty much all night long. Uh, but it's nice that it does come with two batteries. Minus four degrees, uh, cold weather rating IPX6 uh, rated. So you can go outside, uh, you can hunt in the rain, which I did in our coyote hunting tournament. It rained all night long and that was not pleasant. Uh, but the scope handle, fine, it's not gonna bother it. It does weigh 45.89 ounces. It's kind of heavy. It's a big scope, 75 millimeter objective lens is gonna do that. It's rated for a recoil rated for a 300 wind mag and seven mag. Uh, and it does have the IRA five-year warranty with a five business day repair or replace guarantee. Let's get a good look at this thing. This big old beautiful scope here, 75 millimeter objective lens with a hinged, a spring loaded hinged plastic lens cup, cap right there. You've got your focus knob right here on top. You also have, uh, this is kind of a menu dial. Also it does some magnification functions. And then you got a four button layout right here with a USB-C plug import right here, a removable rubber eye cup. Here is the spring, uh, the spring assisted is what they're calling it, QD mount. I'm gonna tell you, I've taken this scope off so many times while I've been using it, testing other optics, gone out, uh, shot coyotes, shot hogs, taking it off, put it back on. This thing, the, the mount is perfect. There's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. You've got your battery release right here on the side. But again, as you can see, it's a full size scope. I mean, I had this mounted on a American Defense Manufacturing 700 SA PRC chassis uh, rifle. So, I mean, it, it, it did, it was, uh, it's not something you're gonna take out for a lightweight setup. This is something, and this is a scope specifically meant for long range shooting. It also comes with, and it's too big to even show on the camera, a very, a uh, nice and large Pelican case. It's coyote tan, kind of just like the, the scope, but a big, large Pelican box that you can put everything in. It holds everything. So if you're traveling, very, very nice. But let's run down. We talked about the ID ranges. We showed you around the scope. Let's talk about uh, who this optic is good for. And then we'll kind of get into the likes and the dislikes. So 4X base magnification, that's a lot. This is definitely who I see uh, somebody who is long range shooting. Now, what is long range shooting? That's a floating answer. That is a, that is not a specific answer. Long range could be for some people, 200 yards, 300 yards, 300 yards at night with a high end thermal scope is not an easy shot. And it's, that's definitely considered long range, but 300, 400, 500 yards, you get past that, you know, it's difficult, but this scope, if any, is definitely meant for people who are in wide open areas, whether you're a hog hunter or coyote hunter, and your average shot is 200 yards and further, 4X base magnification is gonna be ideal for you. Now, I would also say that if your average shot is under 200 yards, maybe it's closer to 100 or 150 yards, I would say Infrared Outdoors got some other scopes that would be right for you. This one probably isn't even as great as it is and as great as the picture image is, as you've seen on the videos, might be a little bit too much base magnification. Because remember, when you when you increase your base magnification, you are giving up field of view, uh, which, if you're shooting close range, can hurt you. Because whether you're trying to shoot at a coyote that's running, or hogs that's running, or even if you're coyote hunting, and you're trying to see as much um, you know as much field of view as you can, and something's jumping out from the side. You know, this is a little bit of a challenge. This is for somebody who's definitely in wide open places, you know, long stretches of land uh, that you can see a long way. This is gonna be ideal for that. You'll be able to see coyotes coming from a long ways away. Now, dislike, I'll tell you who it's good for. Dislikes, like, let's talk, let's start with that first. I think the most noticeable thing is the fact that it is big. It's a big scope. I mean, you kind of expect that when you're talking about having a long range specialty shooting optic like this is, uh, I, you know, I can't imagine it being small. <laughs> if something's going to be a 4X base magnification with a 75 millimeter objective lens and have this 
amazing picture quality, it's not going to be small, but that's the, the most glaring noticeable thing. You know, this isn't for somebody who's trying to like set up a, a truck gun with a 12 inch barrel and, you know, a gas gun, AR with 12 inch barrel, just something you can grab out quick out of the truck. This is something who's, you're trying to shoot long range. You probably have a long barrel, long rifle. I mean, this is something that you want to be able to stretch out there and get something. So the biggest obvious uh, negative, I would say the size of it, I, I would say that this optic has a lot going on. Um, if you're a, if you're a beginner, you're going to want to take some time to learn some of this. I mean, with the ballistics compensator inside the scope, you know, you got a laser range finder that mounts to the side that you're going to set up. That's going to take a little bit of, of knowing what to do. You want to sit down with this thing, read through the manual a lot. Uh, the, the menu there's, I don't want to say there's a lot of things in the menu, but you know, recoil activated recording. Well, what does that mean? I mean, a lot of people know, but not everybody knows, you know, taking time to learn exactly what this stuff does, all the reticles that can be set up. It does have Wi-Fi and, and all that. So I'm not saying that this is overly complicated, but this is something that you're going to want to take some time and, and get to know before you go out there and sight it in for the first time. The biggest mistake I see people make is when they get an, and this, this could be a $2,000 scope or a $10,000 scope. The biggest source of frustration was when, when people get a scope and the first thing they do is get it out of the box. They're all excited and they run to the shooting range to sight it in. And so they're out there either in the cold or the hot, they got the sun glaring on them and they're trying to learn how to sight this thing in on the fly without even knowing what the buttons do. And I get a lot of calls from the range, people trying to sight in uh, uh, scopes, customers of ours that, that try to sight in scopes. It never works out well because they get super frustrated. Take some time, learn the scope, then go out in the range, sit down with the book and read it. It's not over, overly complicated, but again, you're going to want to take some time to get to know what you got. Uh, you know, as far as the other dislikes, I mean, there's not a lot. I will say the focus knob to focus it. I think this is a, probably a good thing because when you shoot, you don't have to worry about this thing going on out of focus. I've shot with scopes before where you shoot and you can notice it goes a little bit out, out of focus under recoil. This thing is tight. You got to put some little juice on it to be able, and I'm not talking about putting any kind of grease or nothing on it, but just some arm juice, man. You got to, to get this thing to focus uh, on this model, particularly, I, you know, I noticed I had to turn it pretty hard to get it focused again, not a big deal, but sometimes when you're trying to focus on the fly, if you got a coyote running in from 200 yards up to 20 yards, which I had uh, during some of the coyote hunting footage I had, I, I noticed, man, I was having to grip down on that thing pretty good. That's all the dislikes I have y'all uh, with it. I mean, what I like, it comes with a great QD mount. It's got a beautiful picture image. I know you saw the videos. I mean, this thing, you can see the other side of the moon with it. I was videoing hogs at 25 yards and it almost wasn't fair, all the detail that was in the video. So picture image has to be the number one like on this. The fact that it does, again, comes with two batteries, comes with a laser range finder, comes with a QD mount, a good quality QD mount. Uh, you're getting uh, a lot of value in with that. I know it's $8,000, I think mean, it's a lot of money. But for people out there that said, they call me all the time, I'm a long range shooter. That's what I do. I, I, I shoot in the past when people call and say, I'm a long range shooter, you know, competitively. And we get a lot of people that make that crossover in the night hunting. They say, I'm a competitive shooter. I shoot long range. I'm used to shooting a thousand yards. And usually what I tell them is forget everything, you know, <laughs> cause that when it comes to thermal hunting, night hunting, coyote hunting with a thermal scope, pig hunting, long range, man, it has just not been uh, a long range shooter sport for a long time. This gives us a better chance. This definitely true four X base magnification with digital zoom. Uh, this is to date right now. And I'll say arguably, because I hate, I hate saying definitely. There's so many people out there that want to run out there and say, this is the best, or this is the best. I will say to date, arguably, this is the best long range shooting thermal scope on the market. Uh, there's not too many 4X, 640, 12 micron uh, scopes out on the market right now. I mean, Trigicon had some. Uh, I know there's some other brands that have some three or three and a half power. Uh, this is a true 4X base magnification. It's hard to say right now that there is a scope that has 
this high of base magnification with this good of picture quality that you're going to get. And this is, again, the end of February 2024 could all change in six months or a year. We never know. But right now, I would say arguably, yes, this is the best long range shooting thermal scope on the market made by Infrared Outdoor. This is the Rico Hybrid 75. So you got to see a bunch of video, y'all. If you want to see another review and you want to hear somebody else's side of the story, go check out our podcast, The Late Night Vision Show. We do a show every Thursday. We're doing reviews. We're talking about night hunting, coyote hunting, hog hunting, whatever you want to know. You can find it on YouTube. You can find it at our website, thelatenightvisionshow.com, a weekly podcast that we've done for 303 weeks in a row. Uh, I tell you, it has been a ride and a half, and I get to do it with my good buddy, Jason Robertson, who also is the owner of Outdoor Legacy, and that is that is my day job, y'all. I'm the luckiest man in the world. I get to talk about scopes with y'all all day, every day, and then I get to go use them at night. So if you want to find out, is the Infrared Outdoor Rico Hybrid 75 right for you, give me a call, 877-350-1818, OutdoorLegacyGear.com. <laughs> I've said it a million times, and I still screwed up. OutdoorLegacyGear.com. I'm here to help, man, and I know that the decision can be tough, of what to purchase, what you want to get. Again, there's so many choices. Whether your budget's $500 and you're looking at night vision scopes, or it's $15,000 and you're looking at a 1280 infrared outdoor, or if it's $2,000, whatever it is, we can help narrow down the choices. We can help you decide, and we can provide you the customer service that you deserve when you're spending a lot of money on a toy like this. Now, again, Thank you for watching. We will be back soon. You know, I've got another review coming up. This is going to almost be back to back. I'm probably going to put out a short hunting video with this uh, Rico hybrid as well. Got uh, got a lot of time behind it and uh, a lot of hog, good hog hunting and coyote hunting clips to show you. So we'll be back soon. Y'all take care. Don't miss the next episode and please subscribe. Y'all take care.